Hey, good morning. Mike here. It is Monday, July the 11th, 2022. Wanted to give a real quick update to those of you who have been praying for my father over the last <clears throat> many months. I'm sitting here in front of his house in Bristol, Virginia, the place of my birth and my raising. My father passed away on Friday, this past Friday. His services are tomorrow. My brother and my sister and I and some family members are here to deal with all that goes on with that and um, property management and all that good stuff. Just real quick uh, video here concerning all of that. First of all, to thank you for praying for my father. You'll remember, those of you, many of you will remember that my father was diagnosed with colon cancer um, earlier in, actually in late last year, and then early in this year, he had very successful colon cancer surgery, uh, preceded, of course, by radiation and uh, chemo, all of that successful, and he was deemed to be cancer-free. So we praise the Lord for that. Shortly thereafter, he began to show signs and symptoms of um, failed memory and ultimately was diagnosed with dementia just weeks before his passing. So we praise the Lord that there was no long um, ongoing process of dealing with that, not in a self-serving way, but from his end. It's often said that you remembered by how you leave. Remember that. So whether it's um, leaving the party, leaving the room, leaving a relationship, or leaving this planet, you're remembered by how you leave. So finish well. Um, real quick, man, Wednesday, this past Wednesday, my dad called very clear-minded, clear-headed. His voice was youthful. Um, whereas in the last month or so, it was, it was, uh, kind of tragic to hear him talk just, uh, nearing his, the end of his days and, and his voice was getting, uh, where we, it was difficult. It was difficult for him to talk and it was difficult to understand. So the conversations, um, by default were difficult, but very youthful in his voice, very clear in his mind. He called me Wednesday. It was, it would be our last conversation we talked for, for a good bit, or he did, <laughs> and he just told me how proud that he is of myself and my brother and my sister, and I had nothing negative to say. He said he was ready to go. He was pain-free. He was at peace, He and he said, I'm going to, to be with my sweet Jesus, and he, he spoke at length about looking forward to seeing the face of Christ. I'm confident that he did immediately. You know, the Bible says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. So it's possible to be absent and present at the same time. Absent from this place and present with the Lord. And because there is no time in heaven, we can't even use words that equate to time. So it wasn't something that was immediate. It was faster than that. <laughs> that he went home to be with the Lord. And um, he spoke of longing to see my mother, who's been there for 20 years. And so what an amazing uh, exit. He finished well. He'd be 81, or excuse me, he would be 80 this year. And so um, taking all of this next week, this coming week off, of course. And I'm thankful for my friend Brian uh, a local washer there in our area. This is his first year, but he's doing amazing work. And I've been giving him work, some overflow work of mine, and keeping him going here lately. And uh, and he's taking some, some of my work for me. I have about 70 houses scheduled. And thankfully, thus far, everyone that I have contacted, which has been everyone that I'm supposed to wash for this week, this coming week, have uh, all been very sympathetic and empathetic and uh, very kind. So Virginia is about six to seven hours away from where I live in Ohio. And so 
I have already scheduled every Friday off for uh, the rest of this year if I want to. If I get no more calls from here on out, I will have washed more houses than I washed all of last year, and it's only July, so so things are good. And I only speak of that because I, I want to say thank you to my friend Brian, who's taking some of my work, and thank you to my customers who are uh, very compassionate. Thank you for your uh, very kind words of condolence over the last many months. And we would certainly appreciate those um, prayers. Thank you very much for those and, and continued prayers. So here I am in front of my dad's house. We are just making arrangements and, and grieving and mourning together and celebrating. Listen, when you know the Lord, those around you can celebrate at your departure. Know that know that that's that's an amazing it's an amazing thing and you can know the lord by repenting of sin calling out to him for salvation and believing in his death burial and resurrection we find that in the scriptures all throughout the scriptures the anthem and the theme of the bible from beginning to end is mercy and grace and he's full of mercy and grace weeping may endure for the evening but joy comes in the morning mike the fresh rinse and i'm out